populations. A one-time infusion of cash in this year's budget putting transportation projects on a fast track. And now we know what roads, airports, and bridges will get the funding. Atlanta News First reporter Abby Casores has the differences you're going to see traveling throughout the state. Good afternoon, Abby. Well, you're going to start to see orange barrels all across the state of Georgia. This is one of the projects that will receive the funding. The I-75, I-85 downtown connector. $10 million for improvements here. $1.5 billion for improvements across the state. Potholes and cracks on bridges. It's about everywhere I go in the state, there's a road being worked on. In the FY 2024 state budget, Governor Brian Kemp earmarked one and a half billion dollars of the state's $16 billion surplus for these kinds of projects. Millions of people moving to Georgia during his time as governor, putting stress on the state's infrastructure. We were able to really make generational investments that just kind of like jumpstart us uh, on some of these projects would have taken years to get to. Nearly 100 million for airports, 250 million for local roads, 500 million for freight, almost 600 million for capital improvement projects, and 50 million for maintenance. In total, 49 projects, the biggest $279 million to widen and design the I-16 interchange in Savannah, 110 million to widen State Route 20 in Forsyth County between Canton and Cumming. 104 million for improvements to widen and complete the I-16, I-75 interchange in Macon. Most of these projects will take years to complete. We're working on our freight and logistics to move goods and services from places like the ports of Savannah out of our airports and just keep our economy moving in the state as well as our people. The large infusion of cash, meaning these projects will finish decades before they were expected to begin. And the plans include some good news for some of these drivers on the interstate right now. An express lane on I-75 south of the city going both ways also included in this improvement plan. The Georgia Department of Transportation says that they factored, factored trash, crash data, traffic data, as well as geographic location into making their decision on which projects will be selected. Live tonight in Atlanta, Abby Casores, Atlanta News First. Donating the gift of